Deborah Denise is Deputy Director of the Rights and Justice Unit for the International Planned Parenthood Federation, Western Hemisphere Region. She was recently driven into exile after receiving death threats in her home in Brazil. Just to clarify for people, why did you leave Brazil? What are you up against? When did it start? And what was the nature of the threats that you've been facing? To understand what is happening with me, we need to understand who is the new president of Brazil. So Bolsonaro is his name and it's in, in place since last January. And when we talk about Trump, we need to think that Trump is Bolsonaro from the South. It's the other way around. He made his career making misogynists, racists, and against human rights defenders. So it was just a matter of time that I was in the center of a human rights issue to decriminalize abortion in Brazil. Abortion is against the law, women go to jail, and I was in leading a movement to change the legislation at the Supreme Court. So it was a coincidence last year when he started his race to the presidency, and they started to send me death threats. So to put a point on it, you happen to be working on this work of decriminalizing as the Bolsonaro campaign is heating up. Yeah. Yes. So Death it threats start coming. So I, I'm described as the first exiled person from Brazil, <laughs> but my point is that it's just the number one, because human rights is at the center of his battle. Mm -hmm. It's a cultural battle against democracy, and there is a core agenda that is anti-women, anti-gender, anti-LGBT populations. So in my case, I had this sensitive issue from many people that is abortion, but I mean, it's not putting women in jail. It's about that in the South. Mm -hmm. And I was leading that case. So I, I was a face in the public space. And what was the nature of the threats, if you don't mind me asking, and who did they come from? Yeah, it's really scary because it was against me, my husband, my family, and they, they didn't stop. So even not being in Brazil anymore, I keep receiving them. And it's a mix of concrete description of how they will kill me, my parents, my brothers, my sisters, my husband. But also, I would say in a language, just saying, I know where you are working now. Mm -hmm. when we know where you live now. Did and you have qualms about coming on the show? I consulted the police before coming here. I consulted a group of lawyers, and it's the first time that I'm speaking in public about that. 